How's it going y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to do a shooting review of this new Obsession FX7. Let you all know what I think about it as far as draw cycle, back wall, um, stability, accuracy, uh, speed, vibration, all that kind of stuff we're going to talk about today. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, sling the first arrow. And these arrows that I'm shooting today are going to be the uh, Black Eagle Renegades. They are uh, weighing in at about 445 grains so um, a fairly heavy arrow especially being uh, you know a, a just 28 inches on the cut so so fairly heavy arrow um, the obsessions I've heard like a heavy arrow and we'll get in uh, to more of that here in a second because I did have some issues tuning it and it's still not perfectly tuned I don't believe but we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second but let's go ahead and draw the first one I've got two targets set up uh, one back here we'll shoot for like a group here in a second. I've got one over here that I'm just going to shoot. That way you can kind of see uh, as far as what the bow is doing and everything. And this bow is a um, 65 pound draw weight and 28 inches of draw length. Um, this is the Obsession FX7. And let's do our first shot here. Okay, so initial thoughts on the draw cycle is it's not, it's not an elite draw cycle but there's not too many that's like the Elite. I mean, it's it's a nice draw cycle. It really is at 65 pounds. Now the FXL at 70 was a little stiffer, but I mean, this, is, this isn't bad. As far as the back wall, it's actually really nice. It's nice and solid. You do have limb stops. Uh, minimal vibration on the shot. And in my opinion, it's fairly quiet. Um, I think that that it's a nice all-around bow, honestly. We'll shoot the second one. I'm gonna toss these sunglasses because, uh, you know, can't really see anything with them. All right, second arrow. And I do wanna say, I have had some issues tuning this thing. Um, we've got the, the rest set at center shot and paper tuned, and I had a terrible right hand tear, probably worse than I've ever seen. Yeah, that, that draw cycle is nice, and the back wall is as good as you could ask for. Holds really nice. A little bit of a kind of a thunk whenever you shoot. A um, little bit of vibration. You don't really feel it though. I mean, there's a little bit, but not not bad. Again, more vibration than a Triax or a Vertex, but less vibration than any Hoyt I've ever put in my hand um, and pretty quiet you know third shot here my elbow just about popped out of the socket for some reason are elbows in sockets that one was dead on so I think that as far as an all-around bow I really like it like I said draw cycle is good at 65 pounds a little stiff at 70 and so back to the tuning issue. So again, I had a terrible right hand tear. It was probably the worst paper tune that I've ever seen. Um, and I literally, I had moved the rest all the way out to the edge of the shelf here. And it almost brought it out, but it's still not great. Um, so I wanna know from you guys, cause I mean, I'm not a super, you know, really knowledgeable when it comes to like bow tech stuff. Basically, I adjusted the rest all the way out and I couldn't get the right hand tear to go away. Now, obviously, probably the right thing to do would be shim it. But what I want to know from you all is, is there a chance that it's the arrow? Because I am running 350s. Um, I don't know if I was only shooting at probably maybe five steps through paper. So what I'm wondering if maybe the arrows were flexing that much in, you know, in that short amount of distance. Should I have shot farther back or should I get a stiffer arrow? Again, 65 pounds of draw weight. Um, 28 inch arrow I'm shooting a 350 spine and I've got a 56 grain insert and 125 grain um, tip so like 175 ish uh, grains up front um, that's quite a bit but that's also you know why I went with the 350 instead of the 400 because usually I'm right on the bubble so I went with the heavier spine um, should I go even heavier should I drop back to 100 grains and try that should I shoot farther uh, farther away into the paper what do you all think I should do? Um, and here's the second thing, like I'm, I'm shooting this and all of my arrows are hitting the target perfectly straight. They're not 
crooked or going in at any funny angles like they're hitting they're hitting good so let's go ahead and shoot a group into this target over here and i'll show you what i'm talking about all right so this target is set up at a uh insane distance of about 15 yards but i think it will prove my point my point is that the arrows seem to be flying straight and it'll also prove my point that it seems to shoot fairly decent because you know, this is like the maybe the 12th 13th arrow that I've put through this thing so I'm not completely used to it yet but we'll go ahead and uh, sling about three more First one is about a half of an inch to the left. Those are almost touching. Tip is loose as a goose. And I'm also shooting the uh, True Fire um, Hardcore. Don't really like it. I like the hook style, I think. Uh, but the buckle is way too freaking long. Let's see if I can. Get through three shots without having a flyer. All right, let's go take a look. All right, so obviously um, not the best group, but I mean, you know, we're at like an inch and a half group at 15 yards and I'm just kind of still getting used to this bow. So my point though is that, I mean, they're all going in really straight. Um, I don't really know if it's that out of tune, that's why I was wondering if maybe, you know, it's just taking a little bit of time to kind of, uh, you know, straighten out. Maybe it's flexing a little bit on the shot, so maybe I should have paper tuned it from farther away. But anyway, you all let me know what you think on that. All right, so that is the end of that video. Um, again, initial impressions of the bow was that it has a pretty good draw cycle at 65 pounds. Very minimal vibration. It's pretty quiet for you know a mid-speed bow, and honestly, it, it shoots pretty good to be possibly not even in the best tune right now. So I've still got a little bit of work to do with it, but overall impressions is that I like it, and I think that um, there's no reason that I couldn't get some animals on the ground this year. Uh, it's not going to be the bow's fault if I don't. You know, it's it's going to be user error if that happens so let me know in the comment section what you think about the uh the tuning um i'm i'm not 100 percent sure what i think but but i'm sure y'all have some opinions and can maybe help me out let me know like this video subscribe till next time y'all be safe